Hi you guys, how are you? If you're new to my channel, my name is Sarah. This is my YouTube channel, Stitching by Sarah. This is a channel about my addiction called Cross Stitch. So if you're new, I wanna thank you so very much for stopping by. If you are a subscriber, I wanna thank you so very much for subscribing. All you guys that have been with me for the last, what, year and a half? Um, we got a cat, sorry. And he is like a toddler, so every now and then you may see me jumping away because he's in the room here with me. And I don't know where, he just went to get in something. So anyways, if you have been with me for the last, was it year and a half? Or two and a half years, I don't remember. I think it may be two and a half years. Wow. Well, anyways, I want to thank you all for staying with me, um, especially the last several months where I haven't been putting putting out a video very often. I know that I am here a lot sooner than I had anticipated, and that's only because I got sick the week of Christmas with this respiratory thing that's going around that's not COVID or flu or strep, um, had sinusitis with an ear infection that went to bronchitis. So I was out of work for the week between Christmas and New Year's, so I actually stitched. So I've got a bunch of stuff to show you. And believe it or not, you better sit down for this. I actually have finishes, yay! All right, so, just a minute. Come here. All right, so this is my newest addition to my family. Um, the, um, place where my husband got them for me. His name was Grumpy, but he is far from Grumpy, so we call him Jack. So he is like a toddler. He is in everything. We're always telling him, get out of that. Get that out of your mouth. Get down. What are you doing now? So he's seven months old, they say. Here, do you want to go play in the window? Uh, all right. So you guys can watch them play in the window. Um, I do have the curtains shut because it is, what, three o'clock in the afternoon, almost four o'clock, and the sun is right over there. So actually, I'm gonna show it just a little bit more so that you guys can see better. All right, so let me, I've got a bunch of things. Um, actually, I have giveaways. So let's start the new year with some giveaways. I clean my, my desk here my pile that I keep things in before I put them away was over here heaped over you know tumbling over and so I put my patterns away and I found that I have um, either some things I think some of these I picked out at um, um, Silver Needle for you guys I never actually got them out to you because some of these I'm like mm, that's not my style um, and some of these I have extras of so Please, um, I'd prefer that you're a subscriber. You don't have to be, but I would prefer. Um, these are small enough that I think I can send these um, throughout the world without too much problem. So don't say the word free. Don't say the word giveaway. Um, be over 18 so you can legally give me your mailing address. Um, what are all the other? It's been a while since I've done this. Um, what are you doing now? No, that's not yours. Um, you know, all the usual YouTube things that everybody tell you tells you not to do or to do. Um, so I have one, two, three, four, five different patterns. Um, I think we'll just do one, two, three, four, five. So if you are interested, the first one, I have two of them. First one is Heartstring Samplaries, Whip It Good. So if you're interested in number one, put the number one. Um, Heartstring Samplery, I belong to Cross Stitch Nation. I am actually stitching that. That is one of my 65 whips that you are seeing around here. Um, if you are interested, I have two copies of these. If you're interested in Cross Stitch Nation, Put the number two and I must have liked this so much I bought it twice this is Plum Street Samplers the equality sampler so Plum Street Samplers the equality sampler 
So this is number three. Number four, I don't think this is out yet. Um, got this at the um, Silver Needle Retreat. Um, it was exclusive to Silver Needle. Um, this was is by the Drawn Thread. The pattern that's on here is part of our um, pattern for um, the retreat. But this is not something I'm going to stitch, so I'm giving away. So this is the Drawn Threads, a Stitcher's Garden Tote. So this is number, was this number four? This is number four. And number five, this is totally not my style. It is Sprouted in Love by Sambri Stitches. So if this is something that you're interested in, this is number five. All right, so one, two, three, four, five in the comments below. And the next time I get to you guys, whenever that may be, I will pull the winners out of this video and I will notify you on my next video. Just a minute. What are you doing now? Get, don't eat that. No. He's eating bugs. I haven't cleaned my room in a while, so it's got dead, some dead insects back here. All right, so let me show you my finishes. First is Count Your Blessings by La Di Da. This is where it was last time you guys saw it. Man, this is where it's at now. Fabric, let's stop that. Fabric is um, 30, no, 28 count. Picture this plus murmur. And I pulled my own floss. I am, I used silks. Um, I used Fudge by Be Stitch Me. I used um, Belsoise. This is Cranberry. And this is Cream de Mint. And this is Old Crow. So those are the colors that I used. And, yeah, and I didn't cut it very good. But, um, this was in my piece as I was stitching it and I just cut it off after I was done. I'm gonna make it into a pillow, so I really don't need all the space that I used over here. So that's why there's only a little bit on these sides. Anyways, there is Count Your Blessings by La Di Da. All right, my last finish. Can you believe? Um, this, was, this was my first finish for 2024. And let me show you my last finish for 2025, uh, 2023. All right, so um, this is the Celtic Cross Scissor Fob. I don't have a picture of, you know, a cover picture. This was a freebie from the retreat, um, the Silver Needle Retreat. This is where it was last time you guys saw it. And this is where it is. This is what it looks like. Um, the pattern actually calls for your initials like S and B. And then this would be 2023. Um, but I didn't feel like doing that because I'm not going to make it into a scissor fab. Because it's going to be pretty big for a scissor fab. I'm going to make it into a little pillow or something. Uh, the fabric is a fabric that... Um, um, Ooh, what's her name? The designer for um, the drawn thread. She gave us the fabric and we got to pick out our silks and we got to trade if we wanted. And someone was very nice and traded and gave me Hyacinths. It's a uh, Karen Water Lilies. And I've got to get it back on the, um, on the card. But I fussy cutted out the browns. Oh, you see, I cut, cut out the browns. I used mainly the blues and the purples. All right, so let me show you my last finish for 2023. All right, Leah's wanting in, so just a minute, let me let her in. All right, I'm back. I'm back. Leah and the cat don't get along very well. Um, Dad is up in his garage. 
Leah gets into things when she's by herself, so that's why I, I pull her into my, um, as my husband calls it, my stitching salon. And the cat and the dog don't get along very well yet. So, um, the cat nearly nailed me while I was letting Leah in. Anyways, so while the cat, go lay down. We got a circus now. <laughs> oh. Anyways, let me go on. I think I got done showing you. This was my last finish for 20. <laughs> I got cat and dog hijinks today. <laughs> oh, oh, the fun we have. <laughs> my last finish for 2023. The, the Celtic cross scissor fob by uh, the drawn thread. I'd let the cat out too, out of the room, but um, we come home from wherever we go and he's got things off our counters, off the tables, so he's <clears throat> knocking things over, so I'm not letting him out all by himself out there either. So I'm sorry, you guys are going to have to deal with the hijinks that I've got. <laughs> the cat just bit Leah's butt. Anyways, so on to my whips. My first whip is um, the Scattered Seed Samplers Forget Me Not Pin Keep. This is where it was last time you guys saw it. All right, so here is where it's at now. I believe the fabric, so this was a kit um, from the Scattered Seed Samplers got it off of her Etsy site. I was in her club, the Pin Keep Club, for last year. And this is one of those. And it says that um, the fabric is 36 count Edinburgh vintage country mocha. Um, I stitched it on the wrong side. This is the colored side that the, um, the uh, um, sample is stitched on. I didn't realize that it was country mocha when I started and I stitched on the plain side, which there's nothing wrong with it. It's just not as pretty as the, um, the sample. So that's where my forget me not pin keep is at. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. I still have cough left from um, my cold. I've had a, several people tell me that they ha know somebody or they are somebody who has had this for over three weeks. Anyways, my next is stitching with the housewives. Let me find the correct pattern. Home is where the wreath is. This is where it was last time you guys saw it. All right, y'all know that I have the H done, and this is what I have done on the M. I know I did quite a bit in here. This was one of the days when I was feeling really bad, and I didn't feel like doing anything, but I couldn't just sit there and watch TV, so I grabbed this because it's just something repetitive to do with my hands. So that's where the M. Fabric is Be Stitched Me's 14 count slate, and the white is um, I want to say bamboo. Yes, it's classic color works bamboo. All right. So that is where home is where the wreath is. All right. So next is um, this is Winter Ride. This is a Dimensions kit. I had gotten this several years ago as a Christmas present. I actually worked on this on Christmas or the day or two before Christmas. Uh, this is where it was last time you guys saw it. 
<clears throat> and that's where it's at now. The fabric is 14 count, the dimensions kit fabric, the white stiff stuff. The floss is all the kit floss. Uh, I worked over in this area. Very pretty. I just need to get it done. Like all of my other whips that I have going. All right, I'll show you one more time here. So that's where I was working. All right, next is um, Long Dog Sampler, Death by Cross Stitch. This is where it was last time you guys saw it. All right. This is where it's at now. Fabric is 32 count sand by Picture This Plus, and I am using DMC 935. Um, and this is the area that I worked on. Um, I believe it's right in here. Now what are you doing? All right, so this is, this is what it's looking like. And I have one more, um, one more whip. All right, and you guys are not gonna believe what I pulled out. So, this is one of my two needlepoint pieces that I have, um, uh, I got through my embroidery guild that I'm a part of. So this is, um, mm, I forgot the name, just a minute. Ambrosia. So this is called Ambrosia Honey. This is out of the EGA magazine from June 2017. And it is designed and stitched by Karen Stetlasa Matsi. S-T-E-K-L-A-S-A. Stetlasa Matsi. I don't know. In case you're interested, that's her name. All right, so this is where it was last time you guys saw it. <clears throat> All right, and I'm actually holding my project bag behind it because you can see through it. This is 18 count mono canvas, and I got a lot done. So um, this is not hard at all so far because all it is is, um, I don't remember what stitch it's called. Um, Bargello stitch. So once you figure out the pattern, it is really easy. So I think I have one or two more um, lighter colors, uh, part of this ribbon, and then I'll start working on, um, what's the next section? Next section is, next section is those little things right there. And you can see that there's, I think there's two more lighter colors. So that's what it's going to hopefully look like. So let me put it up one more time so you all can see. And you can see my project bag through it, but <sighs> cat's playing with an acorn. So if you don't know, if this is your first time here, Right here is the door that goes to the outside to where the dogs, their little penned in area. And we have leaves and acorns all over. And so when they come in, they, they pull them in. And I haven't vacuumed in here in a little bit. And so the cat's playing with acorns. As long as he doesn't chew them, I guess. All right, so that is Ambrosia Honey. All right, so um, we had our Embroidery Guild Christmas Christmas party, finally. Um, December was very busy for all of us. We had a hard time picking out a date for us all to meet, so we ended up doing it um, yesterday. 
So we do, I don't know if it's called white elephant or, you know, somebody, we pass out numbers and then the first person goes and picks up a bag and then the second person can either steal it or go pick up another present, a bag or present, and then someone can steal and then all that stuff. So I actually stole this from Linda. Linda was liking this, but this was from... Carol, she's new to our to our guild. Um, so these are my Christmas present from the EGA. So this is called Madeira floss. It is cotton floss. Apparently, you cut the end off of the um, off of the bottom here, and it's a six strand um, floss. And then you just pull it from the container. It's a German made in West Germany. So these are all the colors that she had given. And then she had made this little scissor pouch um, and needle bed. So here is, even put a little charm on it. So you can open it up and she, she left the beading needle and on the back is a place to put your scissors. And she actually gave these teeny tiny little scissors. Look at those little cute little things. So. And let's see. She gave this, um, this little kit. It's a pining to stitch tree thread paddle. I don't know who it's, who it's by. It doesn't say who it's by, but that's what it's called. And then she had given us, this is going to come very handy for our vacation. Um, this is a bag. Sorry, I'm going to take it out of the package. This is a bag that folds up very, well, I guess maybe not. It's in there pretty tight. So this is a bag that's in um, all rolled up and then you open it up and it becomes a big old duffel bag. So I love that. Linda passed out, um, one of our other members passed out these cute little ore jars to everybody. So that's, that is that. And then Glenda, she made us all little Christmas present or Christmas ornaments. It's in a globe. It's a big old um, glare on them so you can't see them. But she does a lot of uh, the, uh, plastic canvas stuff. She does, she does a little bit of everything. And then my sweet little baby girl, my daughter, she bought me this, this cross stitch bag. Um, in the front here is place to put scissors and pens and you know all sorts of knickknacks. And then inside, I guess that she probably got it from Amazon. There's compartments on both sides and then the big old inside. So, oh, and then there's this, and then there's this back pocket. So that will come in very handy. And I think that's all that I've gotten that's stitching related since the last time I saw you. I have not, um, other than, I did buy myself more magnetic boards because I like to have one in each of my, um, my bags and believe it or not I don't have enough so I bought some more magnetic boards but that's about all um now I ordered I ordered um shoot what's that floss from Japan Just been a, I was loving this Cosmo floss that um Heather had sent me so from Fat Quarter Shop, I ordered some more, and I'm surprised it's not here yet. But this is the stuff that Heather gave me. I couldn't remember the name, but I've got some Cosmo floss coming. I'm going to start building up uh, my Cosmo 
um, floss um, stop. And other than that, I don't think I've done anything else. Um, people are doing their plans for 2024. My plan is not to make a plan because you guys know I don't follow plans very well. If I were to say I have a plan, my one plan would be to try to decrease my number of my whips. Um, when I finish that one, um, what are you doing now? Uh, playing with tags. Um, the one that I finished a couple days ago, that was number 66 whip. And you know, you can't have 66. So that's a bad number. Um, um, so, uh, I'm down to 65. I'm not starting anything until I get at least a couple more done. That's my only plans for this year. So there you go. Um, I hope you guys had a nice Christmas season. I know the Orthodox, I think they're just celebrated or they're celebrating. So if you are of the Orthodox faith, have, Merry Christmas. Um, I hope everybody that's not in the Orthodox faith, y'all had a very happy Christmas, happy and safe New Year. Um, I was sick. Got oh, guys, it has not been a good several weeks since I've seen you. I um, was in the ER for chest pain, palpitations, the Tuesday before Christmas, and then Thursday before Christmas, I started getting a scratchy throat. Um, so Christmas Eve, I started, I was not feeling very good. Luckily I was on call. Um, Christmas, I was not feeling good, but I was feeling good enough that I could make our uh, Christmas dinner. And then Tuesday, I was like, I called out sick Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, it wasn't until what New Year's either New Year's Eve or New Year's when I started. Oh, it was um, the day before New Year's. I went grocery shopping. It took a lot out of me, and, but the New Year's Eve, I was starting to feel better. I don't know what he's at. Um, so it's been a rough couple of weeks, but that's the reason why I've got quite a bit of stitching done because I haven't been working and haven't been cleaning a house, haven't been doing much except sitting and watching TV. So therefore, while I was sitting and watching TV, I was cross-stitching. So I hope your last several weeks has been much better than mine. Um, so, um, oh, and I told you I planned on going up north for a memorial service. And of course, we knew it was going to... We knew when we made the plans that it, that it was going to snow. And of course, y'all up there got... Um, half a foot of snow, so we canceled our plans and did not come up or go up this weekend, which I'm kind of sad about it, but, but I'd rather be here safe than stuck up there for a little bit. So, and if y'all know me, I hate snow. That's one of the reasons why, uh, we moved to, well, one of the reasons I moved to Texas, <clears throat> um, my husband and I moved down from Pennsylvania in 2011. I think it was 2011 because we were tired of the snow and all sorts of stuff. So anyways, if you are new to me, uh, that's a short little story about me. So I am going to let you go so that you can get on to your next floss tuber. My voice is, I can feel my voice is starting to go away. Um, as I said, I still have a little bit of the cold still in me. Um, so I hope y'all don't get this. I hope you guys don't get the flu. I hope you don't get COVID, any of that stuff. I hope y'all stay safe. And I'm not sure when I'll see you guys again. But um, until then, take care. I'll see you. Bye, guys.